In this lesson, we're going to look at some advanced determiners. So these are determiners that a C2 English speaker would be expected to know. And if you're aiming for IELTS 8 or above, you should know these phrases that work like determiners. First of all, a phrase called beginning many a. Uh. Have a look at the picture here. Here are some people uh, discussing something. Um, maybe there are some people who are discussing problems and by discussing together they can avoid the problems. And this is what people say about such situations. Many a crisis has been avoided through mediation. Mediation being discussions trying to overcome problems. But look at this. Many a crisis. Have a look at another example that uses this phrase. Here's a man who's a little bit lost. And that is because... That is because many an experienced hiker gets lost on this mountain. So what is this phrase, many a? Uh? So many a, uh, or many un, can be optionally followed by the adjective, then a noun, then the rest of the clause. And what this means is lots of instances have occurred like this. Many a crisis means lots of crises. Many an experienced hiker. Lots of experienced hikers. Or this has happened lots of times. An experienced hiker gets lost on this mountain many, many times. So that's many a, uh, many un is a useful way of starting a sentence to mean that this has happened many times before. Let's look at another advanced de determiner phrase. And this time we're looking at the phrase this something of something. Here's a child with, who's taking some medicine and let's say that it, the medicine works this time. Uh, remedy is like a medicine but sometimes which you make yourself. Um, this remedy of yours works brilliantly. Let's look at another example before we look at the meaning. Have you ever been to a rabbit show where this happens? And you could, not a rabbit show, a magic show. Have you been to a magic show where this happens? And someone says to you, that trick of mine always entertains people. The magician says this to you, that trick of mine always entertains people. The form here is this or that, followed by a noun, then of, and then a possessive pronoun. Notice that here, yours, mine followed by the clause, so followed by the verb and then whatever needs to come afterwards. So why do we do this? Uh, well, this phrase adds emphasis to a phrase which is usually possessive pronoun plus noun. So let's remove this one just for a moment and focus on what this means. So this remedy of yours really means, let's just edit that. What it really means is your remedy. Let's put that in italics. So that's the equivalent meaning. Your remedy works brilliantly. But instead of saying your remedy works brilliantly, we could say this remedy of yours works brilliantly. And by using this determiner, this or that, we are adding emphasis to what we're trying to say. So here we're trying to say that something works brilliantly, but we want to really emphasise the point that it works brilliantly. So we add this um, um, phrase, this something of, followed by the possessive pronoun to emphasise it. Your remedy works brilliantly. This remedy of yours works brilliantly. It has the same meaning, but it just adds emphasis and it's really useful to use. 
Let's look at one more situation where advanced determiners can be used. Uh, here is a book that someone has just written. Look at the reviews. It's got five star reviews. And someone says this, much has been said about her latest book. Much has been said about her latest book. Here's another similar phrase. Here's a pile of books. Maybe these are all the books on a particular topic in your library. And this is written. A lot is written on the topic. What's interesting here is the determiner comes first. In fact, the determiner is takes the place of the subject. It becomes a subject itself. Much followed by the verb phrase. Much has been said. A lot is written. And we do this when we give quantity to the verb or the activity. So the verb here is, um, is said and we want to give quantity to how much is said. And by saying much is said we mean said happened many times. So much helps us to understand that the verb happened many times. The same with a lot. A lot is written. We want to say that the writing on this topic happened many times. There's many instances of writing on this topic. And by making this determined of the subject, we are putting a value on the verb. So it's another really useful way to use determiners where you put them before the verb instead of the subject to give quantity to the verb.